I got to watch the sloth snap and the gorillas fling shit. Tasted the world's best frozen banana and felt the excited bounce of a hundred thousand dollars in my backpack all day long. <laughs> no, you just can't be today at the Delaware State Zoo. But it's the night time that really gets my motor running. I tucked into a corner by the fennec foxes as the crowd started to flow lethargically toward the exits, convinced by their baser instincts of an obligation to cease activity with the setting sun. Our species are not too different, you know. I explained to a sleeping fox as I slurped down the last of my banana. He was snuggled against the bars in the far corner of his cage, leaning on the unyielding metal for comfort. He felt safe, and I smiled. The zoo was empty by the time I stepped out from my occluded corner. No one had noticed me. No one ever did. It's so easy to deceive people if you act like any given activity is your designated role. People don't like questioning order. I walked, alone, to the farthest corner of the zoo. Some of the animals stared at me as I passed, but most had already gone to sleep for the night. Upon reaching the empty polar bear cage, I opened it, walked inside, and disappeared through the small door in the rear. Ah, Mr. Bennington, the doorman said gravely as he shook my hand. It's so good to see you again. We have a new menu waiting for you. Right this way, please. I followed him, wordlessly, through the hidden passages that no one ever sees. It smelled of animal waste and human sweat but tonight would be worth the unpleasantness. <laughs> it always was. He seated me in a private room with just enough lighting to read my personalized menu before retreating silently to the corner. Crocodile, kangaroo, gorilla, elephant, rats, lion. I looked up at him in surprise. Rats? Yes, Mr. Bennington, our newest addition. One course consists of many rats, as they are so much smaller than our usual fare, but it has proven to be a very popular choice amongst our clientele, seeking a more exotic experience. I chuckled. <laughs> Different strokes, I guess. Um, I'll be skipping the rat tonight. I put the menu down and smiled broadly. Did you know that gorillas can learn human sign language? We're first cousins, just a few million years removed. I shivered with excitement. <sighs> I just can't get that thought out of my head. Hmm, definitely gorilla for me tonight. Excellent, Mr. Bennington. And the back menu? A giddy thrill shimmied down my spine as I turned the custom menu to the rear and looked at my options. Twenty counts of spousal abuse. Manslaughter, driving while intoxicated. Forcible rape. Attempted planting of an explosive device on an airliner. Elder abuse resulting in negligent death. Sexual battery of a prepubescent minor and subsequent homicide. My breath caught in my throat. The last entry on the list. Ah, yes, the man responded with a hint of nervousness. That is a special acquisition that came in just this afternoon. I can tell you more about the particular details, but please note that specialty items are market price. I lifted my backpack into the air without looking up from the menu. I've seen it, and I must have it. Take what you need from here. The man took the pack silently. Now, what can you tell me about the particulars of my order? Very good, sir, he said as he stepped in front of my seat. A thirty-year-old man was tasked with babysitting a six-year-old girl. They disappeared on January 19th. Three months passed before her body was found in a horrifying state of... Stop, I yelled with a wave of my hand. Just... Stop. I fought back the nausea. I don't want to know any more. And I took a deep, calming breath. Oh, let it begin. 
The man nodded and stepped out of the room. The lights above me dimmed. They were replaced by spotlights that illuminated a stage in front of me that had heretofore been hidden in shadow. The loud clunk of an unlocking cage resonated from behind the stage. The curtains rustled. A hand peeked through the fabric. It wasn't human. Slowly, it pulled aside the cloth. Standing before me on the stage was a 400-pound silverback gorilla. We stared at one another for a frozen moment. Kunk! Another cage had opened just off stage. This time the curtains burst forth as a terrified naked man stumbled onto the stage. He collapsed to his knees in tremulous terror. The gorilla screamed in fury. I hear you like six-year-olds, I shouted over the composite plastic barrier that I could not see, but knew protected me. The man snapped his head in my direction, before involuntarily pissing all over the stage. Well, you're in luck. Cappuccino here is also six years old, and he's just so excited to play with you. The man leapt to his feet and sprinted for the curtain. He made it two steps. Cappuccino caught the fleeing man's right arm and lightly tossed him ten feet upward. Ironically enough, the man didn't possess that arm for much longer. I spent a hundred thousand dollars at the Delaware Zoo that night, and the show was worth every penny. Hey there. Thank you so much for taking the time to drop by and listen to this story today. It really means a lot to me. I put a lot of time and effort into making these videos, so it's nice to know that there's someone out there listening. Do me a little favor, would you? Click that like button, leave a comment, and if you really feel like it, why not subscribe too? Okay, happy tales everyone. See you soon.